everybody. Welcome back to Vanessa Montero. If you're new, thank you for visiting. So what's up? Uh, this will be a read, a quick read for the week of December 16th to the 22nd. It really doesn't matter when you get this message though. It, whenever you get it, you're meant to hear it. And I figured I'd just like throw some more reads out there for you guys because I had a bit extra time on my hands. Woohoo for extra time. So anyway, visit my website to book a private reading, vanessamoonzone.com. Uh, visit my Patreon, subscribe, 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 Vanessa Moon on Patreon, and let's get it. All right, so Taurus, what's up? What's up? Let's see what we got coming in for you this week. Wow. Okay, Taurus. Okay. Good. Looks like it's. <laughs> let me let me let me follow the cards before I talk. All right. Taurus. 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 Good. 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 Well, no matter what your situation is, I just want to say that it. It seems like it's for the, the best, right? So let me clarify a couple cards and we'll get started. Right. Taurus, I, I hope you guys are been good all week. I hope you got a chance to watch your uh, monthly read. I know the holidays can be stressful for everybody, so. And if you're not celebrating holidays, just the end of the year period can be kind of all right that one's come out okay all right Taurus so beginning of the week got ten of cups that's a happy family card you got the chariot sign of cancer you have a six of blades six of swords and you have the four of blades closing out the week Clarify the Ten of Cups, got the Strength, the Eight of Wands. Wow, that's really fast. Um, some of you could be moving, straight up moving, by the way, just so you know. Um, that was the Eight of Wands, sorry, to clarify the Chariot, to clarify the Six of Blades, you got the Queen of Wands, and then the Four of Blades is us. clarified by the Two of Cups. Then this came out with that too, the Eight of Cups. All right, so under the deck, Five of Swords. Under the other deck, Death. Sign of Scorpio. Oh, and this sign of Leo here, the Strength. All right, so I see some major, major, major movement this week. Okay, with the chariot energy and with the eight of wands energy, there's a lot of communication between um, people, a lot of movement, a lot of work activity could be moving for work, moving a home, traveling, but there is major movement this week. Somebody's, some of you could be moving your entire family to a whole different place. Some of you could be going from a warm place to a cold place, traveling. Some of you could be going from a cold place to a hot place. Um, some of you could be, yeah, okay. I'm seeing the energy of using, this week you're gonna use a lot, it's gonna take a lot of strength because you have the death energy coming in a major transformation here. I'm seeing it though as a victory, okay? A victory. All right, and it's a solid opportunity. Look, all these came out. Wow, somebody's really moving. Okay, somebody could, some of you could be moving for love. All right, so this week is a major transformation going on, um, and and definitely moving to the next stage in your life. Um, we have something that makes you super fulfilled in the beginning of the week. You get some type of. Uh, I, I'm guessing that there's a situation in terms with a family situation or with a love situation um, where people, it doesn't necessarily have to be a family, but there's a situation with a Taurus, right? Where you've had to exercise a whole lot of patience and you've finally gotten to a place where you feel full and satisfied emotionally, where, where you are reaching an apex of satisfaction, basically in terms of a love situation 
and it's taken you a long time to get here. You kind of had to um, bite your tongue for a while, but things are finally moving in the right direction. Whatever, this is the right direction. You're in a chariot, just means the right direction. Some, it means like at whatever that direction is for you, whether it's moving in with someone or moving out, I don't know. But um, it's happening rather quickly. So where, where I see stagnancy is now turning into something moving very, very rapidly. You have two eights here, so that's success. And then uh, middle of the week, you start the process. Like I said, somebody's traveling, moving. Up. You could be, I see a strong energy of changing homes, but um, you could be changing jobs as well. Okay. But it's going to be, it's, you're basically going from chaos to calm. All right. And this is something that you're extremely, extremely excited about with the uh, Queen of Wands. This is something that um, I'm getting well deserved and well received. If there's a person here in love, they there's somebody I'm seeing that comes in um uh, after after a while after a period of um. Some of you could be going from one relationship to another relationship. Some of you be going from um a loving relationship where it was just kind of not really moving towards any type of real end game or any goal. Um, and now it's finally starting to press proceed. Um, and then some of you are straight up leaving a person and just leaving a, a situation that it took a long time to get out of maybe financially and you're now finally able to move on from a situation and you're basically coming to a place where you can finally rest and you can finally think. And you can finally be at ease and at peace with the Four of Blades. And you can really have time to reflect on the past here. You've moved on. And it's something there. You're mutually mutually beneficial. Okay? So it's like you had to fight for this. You fight for this. Some of you are fighting to be single. And you finally got there. <laughs> or you're just fighting for, for your stability. Right? You're fighting for your independence. And... Some of you are getting into a relationship. It's that sort of thing. Whatever it is, it doesn't even matter. The point is, in the beginning of the week, you have a, a real opportunity to finally get to a place where things are working for you in every single way, okay? And it leads to you being able to really pick up speed in whatever endeavor you're trying to accomplish, and it, it, it gets smooth. I see mind, body, and soul finally leveling out leveling out i feel like you're getting to receive now okay you're getting to receive and finally you're getting to a place where things are not so chaotic anymore it's a real transition a real real transformation a real transitionary time with the death card it's been a slow burn but it's happening now it's like the the, the flip is finally happening now getting to a place where things are finally mutually agreeable things are finally um you're able to finally see before what you couldn't see you're seeing very clearly now and it sees you as well okay meaning like if it is finally getting the apartment you always wanted, finally getting the job that pays you the way you've always wanted to be paid, finally meeting a person that you see eye to eye with, um, that sort of thing, okay? Things kind of, they seem rocky, but this week is the beginning of everything turning around tangibly, physically starting to come in now, okay? Uh, let's get you some advice. All right. Your two cards came out. So, yang energy, right? So that's num So that's basically like the energy of doing and and giving, okay? And perfect harmony, okay? So you're getting this part of it, whereas you were able maybe not to move before. You're able to move now, right? That's also a divine counterpart energy to masculine energy, divine masculine. Some of you could be meeting someone or actually, you know, stepping into the next level with someone that you really are meant to be with. And that m makes you feel settled with your spirit. Okay. A spiritual connection is being birthed for some many Tauruses this week. Um, and then also the energy of breathe, right? Because things are happening so quickly. And I see that here, right? So things are happening quite fast with these two cards okay see how this guy's like super like sailing through and he's ba barely holding on and getting control there is a need for you all to trust 
this week that everything will go smoothly with the six of blades okay you got this you're confident you're powerful and you're ready to receive you're 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 that queen of wands she's like ready to go okay she's got this things are happening just how she wants them to happen so you just need to take it easy you need to breathe this week by the time you get to the end of the week things will really calm down and you'll be able to sit still okay and really have time to reflect on the choice of choices you made and you're going to be able to make a choice whatever you need to go doing for going forward it's going to be a choice that settles settles your spirit okay it's going to be a choice you're okay with thank you taurus i keep saying thank you before i want to um give you a romance angel sorry <laughs> let me check the romance angel oracle and just give you guys some advice from that as well all right make the effort let me get one more for Taurus, please you deserve love all right so you got make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take oh look how he kisses her and she's not even ready for it but she's like okay fine and then you deserve love. You are lovable, okay? So go for what you want. All right. Thank you so much, Taurus. Uh, see you in the next video. <laughs>